Raging Cow. Hello guys, what is up? This is Raging Cow, and today I've got another tutorial, but it's going to be a bit different today. So, I'm not actually going to be playing any games. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, as you can see, in my server list, the names are pretty pimpin'. They're all coloured, but this one's white, and I'm going to show you how to make that one coloured as well. I'm also going to show you guys how to make your single player worlds have coloured titles on top of that. So, first things first, you want to come to this Minecraft forums page, and there's going to be a link to this page right down in the video description, so you can just go ahead and click that, and, um, you don't need to read it, as, yeah, you don't, just don't need to read it, um, but you want to come down to here, and you want to click download Windows or Linux, or I guess Mac, if that's the appropriate operating system for your, your computer, um, Okay, I'm going to click Windows though, because I'm running Windows 7, and then it'll take us to this GitHub page, and it'll have MBT Explorer 2.7.4 for Windows, which is the program we're going to be using to carry out these changes of the server names and stuff like that. So you want to download the zip version, and that will start downloading automatically, and... You want to make sure you know where it's downloading to. I have Chrome linked to my downloads folder. But once that's done downloading, you just want to open the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Alright, so now that we have this folder open, you can see all the stuff that makes MBC Explorer work. But we can't get this to work at the moment because it's still in a zip file. So we're going to have to extract it. So click Extract All Files up here at the top. Find a place for it to extract to. So I'm going to just put it, just put it on the desktop. But you want to also make a new folder and give it a name, so a relevant name, I guess. MBT Explorer, and you want to save. You want you want to have it, the folder you want to, the stuff go into stuff to go into highlighted, because if you don't, if you just don't have any, if you highlight say desktop, it'll just put all the files on the desktop, and it'll be a mess, and where stuff is will be a mystery to you. And everything will just be screwed up. So you want to highlight the folder that you're going to put it in. So NBT Explorer. Okay. Extract. And it shouldn't take too long. It's less than a megabyte. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and close this other one now. And you'll see we've now got the extracted files. And they're ready to use. So I'm going to go ahead and open NBT Explorer.exe. And it'll ask me, do I want to run? Yes, I do, because we trust MBT Explorer people. And uncheck that box, too. Otherwise, it'll ask you this every time you open the program. So go ahead and click Run. And it should open MBT Explorer. It looks like this. It's got a very clean, very nice-looking GUI. It's very simple to use. And you'll see that it defaults to opening the Saves folder of .minecraft. But we don't want this if we're going to change the server list. So... We're going to click on this one here, which is Open MBT Data Source, and up the top here, you want to put in the directory for your Minecraft folder. Actually, we don't want .minecraft on the end. We don't want it directly to open that. So, Open Roaming, which is where it is for me, and which is where it defaults for most people, but if you've changed it, you would know where it is. It should be like this for everyone, though, if they haven't changed it. And then you just want to highlight .minecraft, and then click Open, and then... Well, we could have gone directly. And then servers.dat. This is what we're interested in. So highlight that and then click open. And it'll open servers.dat. It should... Yeah, it just took a little while. So it'll have servers.dat here. And it'll say servers, six entries. That's because I have six servers saved on my game. So you need to find the one. They're in order. So the first one that I wanted to change was my local test server. And you'll see that here. And that's all the information for that server. So you can see my IP is locally, blah, blah, blah. But this is what we're interested in. This tag here is the one we're interested in. So click on that, and then come up here, and then just click on the pencil, which is edit tag value, and you'll get this little dialog box. And in here, this is where we put what we want it to be. So obviously, I still want it to be test server, but we want it to be colored. So this is where... Um, formatting codes come into play. So you want to visit this web page, which is also a link to in the description, which is the formatting codes for the game. So we choose what color we want. I'm going to have dark red, but we need to highlight that little symbol there. That symbol is the godfather for this sort of stuff. So highlight it, control C, we'll copy it, 
and then head back over to NBT Explorer, paste it in there, and put in the code. So, you know, 4. That's what it is for me. So, 4, and that will format it to be red. So, OK. And then click Save, otherwise nothing will happen. So, now if we go in-game and take a look at our servers, there we go, we've got a red name. And this is uneditable now, so, I don't know, yeah, that'll stay red, but, um... If you were to clear that from in here, it would change color. And I got a text. I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Okay. Um, yeah, so that if you try to edit that once again in here, it'll just default back to white, and you'll have to do the same process again. But you can see that that is how I've, cha I've changed the colors of each of my servers. All right. So now for the single-player world saves... You're going to have to click File up here and go down to Open Minecraft Save Folder. This is where we were before, and this will open up all your worlds. So, say I want to change the color of... Hmm, what do I want to change? Cowie's Contraptions. Alright, let's change that. You want to click on that, and then Level Dot Dap down the bottom. Click on that, and then Data. Click on that, and then way down the bottom, you'll see Level Name. And you want to click on this tag, once again, edit the tag, and you'll get this, once again... And I've still got the symbol on my clipboard, so I can just go ahead and paste it again. And say I want to make it, I always forget the codes. What color do I want to make it? Hmm, I want to make it gold. All right, so six. So six, and that will make it all gold. So, okay. Save. And now if we open this up in Minecraft, single player, you'll see that it's got a gold name. But in addition to this, we can also use extra formatting codes. This also applies to the servers list as well. So, um, you'll see that it's got one formatting thing at the moment now. But we can go ahead and put more in. So if we copy and paste the same symbol, and then I'll head back because I forget. Um, here are the other formatting things. So, if I want to make it, say, bold, I can do L. So... If I put an L there, and OK, and save that, and head back into Minecraft, you'll see that it's now bold. And there's lots of possibilities. There's, like, infinite combinations of what you could actually do with this, because there's just um, so many combinations. And if I go ahead and edit that tag again, and go Control v and what is it for obfuscated K? Um, OK save, dun, dun, there we go, it's a bit messed up now, but it's pretty cool, and obviously you can combine colours as well, so if we go ahead and um, remove, I'm going to go remove obfuscation, and put in the symbol here for green, I think that is, and keep it bold, we should get a gold and green name now, so, save, Minecraft, oh, blue, two is blue. Alright, so that's pretty cool. There's so many things that you can do this, you can mix and match, you can have one letter each colour, and it's really unlimited, it's up to your imagination and what you want. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful in some way. Tell me what you thought of it, tell me if you like how I go about this sort of stuff. I don't know what, how I went, but anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, rate, do whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching. See you next time.